I am Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to Zone 3 in 1. As you can see, it kinda sucks. <laughs> it's not really, it's not in a good way. It's even worse. It's even worse than the previous zones. So it's kinda saying, haha, what if, what if it was like original off, and then zones are actually fine the way they are, and doing our thing will make things worse. Well, then we get here. <laughs> Seems questionable. Though this originally, this was a pretty dire place. I, oops. The um, the zones were hardly good places in the original off. But hey, that's just due to our perception. I mean, <laughs> the world being completely destroyed probably is a little bit worse than even what off already was. Is that? Is that you? Let me see that one more time. No, it's gone. Huh. Well. Hello. Nope. Jesper, Harriet 2. Uh. A deterioration has been found. I think that's another. That's an inspiration item, yeah. Otherwise, a little more combat. Like the utilizable instead of usable. I think that's from the original game, possibly. Again, with the uh, literally correct, but otherwise kind of odd translation. All right, big area. Leave this place. Love this place. The, who are these men? Who are these fine young men? I can't wait to meet them. Really do love that. So get no. I will say this area's enemies do seem a little bit less offy, but they still they're consistent with the game's own kind of world. Raged largemouth ghoul. Largemouth ghoul, a gore. A deadly walker. Multi-jointed blind ghouls. Looks a little bit like that um Jeez. Doing some real damage now, huh? Uh, I was gonna say the the lanky one there looked like uh, Dead Hand, the, the the thing from Ocarina of Time. I think it is Dead Hand. I probably should have done a little grinding, but since we ran out of money at least, but I sold some stuff. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Poor guy. So are these like put back together Elsons? I mean, these are obviously, you know, that's what Elsons look like. I didn't. I never really thought of Elsons having like meat and like colors and stuff, but maybe they do when you're not the batter. There's something very interesting about the game, the, the original off is the um Let it spill. Let it spill. This is getting out of hand. Yeah. Um The whole different perspectives thing in the original game though was very interesting because you know, when you're the batter, you see the world, and you just assume that's the way everything is, right? And then you see the judge ending, and the batter is this horrible monster, and it's like, is that how the judge sees us? Is that how we really are? Do we see the world as something different than the way it is? Because that... I, I like stuff like that a lot. There is, um... There's a moment in Silent Hill 3 that's absolutely fantastic when, um... Uh, monsters? They look like monsters to you? And Heather's just freaking out, and then the guy's like, ha ha, just getting wrong. But, if you read some of the lore and stuff in uh, Silent Hill, it does kind of seem like the, the monsters could be other residents of Silent Hill. Or at least memories of them. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we are pretty swole with Blight in our party. He just kind of rips everything apart. Rip and tear. Um, some more corpses. You. You. Ooh. Oh. Just, wow. Elsons be huge. I just thought it was interesting in like the SNES RPGs where the, the, the players would just be tiny little sprites and the, the bosses were like huge. Well, even just normal enemies. They're just huge and way more detailed. I kind of I kind of miss that in some ways, and off obviously kind of does have that aesthetic. It's just everything. Frightful undead worker of Zone Three, undead burnt. 
So they were burnt and kind of put back together. But Bert's head's usually kind of pooped off, so I'm not sure. I guess they kind of put the goo. Do it. Do it. Let the hate flow through you. So he just... He doesn't attack, he just wants you to... Do it. Oh, I get it, he's taking... He's taking poison damage just like uh, Blight is. Which we already know he's burnt, but... He... I don't understand. Really interesting. I like how this is this is so different from the other zones. The, the enemies aren't much of a threat. There hasn't been too much of puzzles. And there doesn't seem to be too much story. There's just, everybody's too dead to give much story. It's really I like changes in tone like this. And again, since the these are the limited color palette, they, they do they can do a lot with the uh, the colors to give that mood. Obviously in a fully colored game, I mean you can do the same thing, but uh, Usually your your way of expressing tone in, you know, a fully colored game is, you know, reduce the amount of colors to have a few overarching specific colors in an area. Kind of like the, um, the, uh, the very triangly metal places in, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Everything's, like, very silver and so, you know, compared to the outside where everything's all lifelike, it's very big contrast. Please enter a passcode. I think we have that right over here. Another reason that that one thing really, <laughs> really put one over on me. The all the puzzles in this game have been very, very simple, except for that one. And that one wasn't really that hard. It's just it was hard to figure out what to do. The actual puzzle itself was pretty easy. There's the sugar stockpile, or is it just ashes now? I guess the game's not going to tell us. So the big boy was the boss of this zone, and presumably we're going to meet him a Tibia Aegis. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say about discarding all my old equipment, um, I, do, I wouldn't have noticed that the, um, the, the Aegises are all named after bones. Um, well, I probably would have just because of Tibia and Humerus, um, but just not being able to see all of these at once because I, if I had sold them in the past, um, I might not have you know, noticed. Something about the stripey tail just feels Dr. Susi to me on that boss, or that enemy. I think I need some allergy meds, I feel a little congesty. I've been, I've been doing better, I've, um, I'm keeping Parker out of my bedroom at night and washing my pillows more. Um, my doc said at least once a week, since I have, you know, cause you're just, you know, the, the allergens on your face just end up on your pillow and you'll... You'll be like wallowing in it all night, of course, and uh, keeping the cat out because you know you'll be breathing cat dander in all night. So I think uh, doing that has been helping. New passcode, I guess. And off's puzzles were largely like the wins in this game. There's usually hey, there's numbers on the wall. Go go find where to put the numbers. It wasn't too tricky, which I, I prefer puzzles like that. Or at least something like Final Fantasy. So in Final Fantasy, the hardest puzzles usually are optional. You know, you'll, you'll get some cool stuff. Or or puzzle battles. I'm, I'm better I'm better at like puzzle bosses. Bye. This is a big smokestack. What are they doing to the sugar that requires a smokestack? Jump. I don't see why not. Seems like a good idea to me. My leg? Nah, we're fine. Tube? Pfft, <laughs> let's do it again. Whee. I like how there's a ladder here, so we could obviously just use the ladder, <laughs> but, but no. Furnace. Go on without me. Crispy. Oh! This is complete and utter madness. 
light okay? <sighs> what? What are you? What? Light scared do. What have you done to do? Amdu, Amdu! Destroy you, you wicked creature! Oh crap! Purification in progress. The head. Oh, we're having, we're battling the demons. So is that? Uh oh. I'm gonna scan it. Question marks. Crap. Is this something where I'm supposed to die, or... Because that's spooky evil do. Just like, like I was saying just earlier. Uh, um, that whole different perspectives thing. I guess as a burnt, we see things different. Oh, we can steal some health. So one of the things I talked about a lot in the Undertale playthrough. I love when games do more with like, you know. Up. Oh. Stop. Oh, it's just defending. I think I'm just supposed to not kill Do. I was wondering if that was the case. Speaking of puzzle battles. Yeah, it, yeah, Do is just defending. My bad. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but Undertale, you really, you, it, it uses, a lot of the tracks are like, slightly sped up, or you know, different tempo, or a lot of uh, light motifs and stuff. I like when games do that, it kind of lets you get the most out of your soundtrack, and it kind of lets you change the mood and stuff. Like, um, for example, the, the genocide, like, super slowed down background music. It's just the flowy theme really slowed down, and uh, there's a few. There's, there's several other cases like that. I'm sure there's some good articles covering all of it. Uh, I don't think just not fighting. I don't think just not fighting is gonna work. I'm supposed to wait for my HP to go all the way to zero, but no. I don't think that's what we do here. It should have already happened if, it, if that was the thing. That's a really good use of the, uh, the L sentence, like. It's a little bit distorted. Sorry, do, but I don't know what else to do. No pun intended. Don't seem, it doesn't seem to be a choice. Wait, do? Do. What have I done? Do. I'm so sorry. Good night. Bad end. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, I wasn't supposed to kill Do, which... Do I just... I hope I don't have to, like, drop all of his HP down, because that's going to take forever. Um... Bye, Elson. Maybe just don't go to that scene? Like, what's, what, let's see what's in the other hole. Without the ability to hurt myself, it's going to be very hard to do Vesper Area 3. I'm dead. Choose your destination, Area 4. Okay. I think we just don't have to see that. Okay. Well, I'm glad we saw it. At least it's a little extra thing to see. This train ride is so aw awkward now. Do I'm sorry that I killed you, bro. It's alright, fam. It, it ain't no thing. Do something isn't right. I put my finger on it. Mm 
We have to run. Now. Why? Uh, what? Okay. I never really thought of the trains as being, like, trains. I always thought it was, like, a single thing. Like, it was just one train car. And there's, like, no engine. It just goes. Now. Let me through. Gotta speed run. You gotta have the time segment, though, every RPG. Especially every SNES and uh, PlayStation 1 era RPG had to have the time segment now. Stop the train. I want to get off. Yeah, give me those squeaky brakes. Yeah. Well, that was certainly unexpected, but we made it out alive. That's all that matters. How is that even possible? What the hell is going on here? Your destination, now nah, I'm good. Well, it's spooky. So, I think was, yeah, this was about the final area in zone three. Yeah. <laughs> this is just, there's just a wall there. Okay. Oh, a lot of walls. Okay, well, we, we accidentally killed Do, but we're fine. Uh, I'm Tap Tap. This is one for today. Um, see you next episode. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.